Oh. Oh, okay. The queens of hands. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm here. Hey, friend. What you been up to, friend? Oh, we could do some uh, zombies. I forgot. I haven't been playing. Uh, I haven't been streaming for like two days, huh? I didn't play Fortnite either. I gotta. I'm, I'm lacking. He said the renegade emo was out and wanted to hear my with you. Oh, oh no, nah, I'm not the bank, sir. <laughs> I forgot the renegade. Hold on, that renegade is that that girl did? I have to see what that is. I don't even remember the renegade. Mm. Yeah, my check was a little short this week because they're sick they all. But I save all my coins up. I don't even know. I'm kind of stingy with my money now. I'm going to save my money up more. You say you'll do my laundry. I don't need to do my laundry, A.V. I'm a responsible person. Like, I got to do my laundry this Oh no. So you'll take care of my garden. You'll feed me out. I don't even have a garden. <laughs> it must be really good if you want that. Where's your coins at, Avery? You old enough to get a J-O to the B? He said you're clean for hop. I clean my own home. <laughs> I need nothing, baby. <laughs> I'm scared. I need nothing. My like, clothes got sore. I should pick Charla just to get this this first part out the way. Pull up in a range or call it Rover. Brown skin gal with a back yellowma. Can I get your name? Be nice to know you Oh God. Yeah, Fortnite up here, uh, <laughs> they up there trying to get some coins, cause the Captain America, they did that for like, um, $20, didn't they? You say you'll buy the remote when it's on the bed, <laughs> you need me to cry. <laughs> you say how was my day? My day was tiring this dude. Like, I couldn't even stream for y'all for two days, cause every time I get off work, I go into my bed and I pass out. And I'm like, oh crap. <laughs> the next day, I'll be so tired. Um. But other than that, when I got home, I washed my hair, you know, did a lot of hair care. And tell me why, y'all. Tell me why eyelash fell in my eye. I have never experienced so much pain in my life. Let an eyelash fall in your dang eye. That 
It took me literally 20 minutes to get that off my eye. Oh my god. You say you'll make history right now for crying. Oh lord. Because you might buy the emo. I don't know. I wish they would allow people to get more emotes. Cause them emotes be costing a lot. And then they got those Fortnite skins that be doing so much too. Mm. Yeah, they be doing so much. It's like watch our from the actual dude, so dirty. How is my sword not faster than the, um, Andy, dirty in this game. I feel like I'll do better doing a 1v1 than the Yeah, I feel better doing a, a 1v1 right now. Call. 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 Core baby. My baby. Okay, Avery. Well, you go ahead and work that out. I understand that, Avery, but actual people. <laughs> I don't like Fortnite like that. Okay, core. <laughs> Get him, core. That's my boo right here. You know he's beating up on my baby like that. Oh, we're so close. So. Oh. Oh, it's only 500? Oh, that's not nothing. Why do you think get that? That make no sense. It's like, um, five dollars. I'm sure you can afford five dollars. I'm 
say you got 50 V but Well damn my friend I'm gonna need you to get your five dollars but You know I'm well like that. What's good, Chad? You say you're hunting the competitors. You a mess. I'm trying to get this girl, <laughs> and I can't get her. Ooh, okay. Boy, to be having my game, a pop down game, a walk. I got up in there, that's all that matters. Oh, that was a lot. Hold on, I need to get these two v together. That's what I need to do. You said you got 1,000 mammoth coins today. That's what's like. You feel mammoth coins. Three, two, one, roll! Yeah, this game is not playing no more. Okay. Okay, I see the Nick and get me there. What's up? Nope. Okay, all right. The shenanigans have begun. Okay, all right. I'll say okay. The struggle is real today. Ogrim. You're just trying to come at me. You notice there's a lot of more Ogrim today. Okay. 
Two more wins to go. Let's go, Spider. On it. Lisa, how's it going? That's right. That's right. Finally off of work. So I'm chilling now. Hold on. What you need? You know I did not call your name. You better go before you go to bed. You better leave me alone. All right, thank you. You're just standing by my door. Hey, what's good? Okay, you're not gonna just hunt and then attack me like that. Hey, no reason not today, Lord. Okay, I see you, Chad. I know she was in there. My partner. Trying to come through with the one bowl combo. Sorry, they was not trying to play. They are ruthless on this game. Oh, I'm laughing. Boy, it's okay, sir. I just gotta figure this out. If I can, to be honest. Oh, that's figured out. <laughs> we fine. That is rude. You have to drop that on my head like that. Okay. Uh huh. Get over there. <laughs> Don't you do me like that. Look at the game. Do me dirty sometimes. Oh, it did me dirty on that drop. Oh. 
Oh hell. That didn't make this so difficult for me. Let's go. Red team wins. I was just being patient. I don't know. I don't make that thing I don't make you sing my song. There's a meeting in my bed. Oh, man. We need some color. Contact me. Yo. You said what? Hey. Hey. Yeah. I I had a um an eyelash got stuck in my eye. Most painful thing I ever experienced in my life. I ain't yeah, never, I ain't never knew there was a type of pain like that. Yeah, not funny. I mean, I thought I had to go see an eye doctor. I said, this eyelash is destroying <laughs> my life. <laughs> it, yeah, it got stuck. It felt like a little tiny knife. <laughs> Hold on, cause my 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 phone is on probably like two percent. So if it die on you, you get warm. It's on two percent. But uh, let's up and down about this. I already done told you what I was. Like the morning, it's just about that. Mm-hmm. I told you. <laughs> You'll see the light. <laughs> My brother, you will see the light. I'm telling you, it's better to do that 6230 or um, a shift that you know won't end. You may be tired, but we can get off of it. They throwing new jobs at me all the time. That's why I be throwing them back. So they they desperate for people to work. I mean, that's that's the main job that's going to be open as well. Like things that are like need more skills. I mean, you you already know how that go. That's so biased. That ain't well. It's so biased. I mean, everything has its cost. I mean, you gotta believe originally you were supposed to do IT. You know, they, you know, reeled you in with a description and then don't put the switch. Yeah. Take me forever to level up. What a guy here that's hard. I'm playing for all of them. You already know. I'm getting tired of Brawl at all. I'm about to play some other games. Plenty of them. No, we don't. Not in the, um, not no brand new ones. 
Like most majority of fighting games, I'm not used to playing fair no more. Uh, yeah, they, okay. in, I do need to go back and listen to the switch. Don't get behind you guys. Fuck the first thing. Don't try. Oh, for sure. I hold on. I thought Pokemon is a, is a um is a long game. Why you beat it that fast? I thought that was the whole point of Pokemon, like the journey. Never ends. Yeah. 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 Never ends. Yeah. I'm finished. I beat almost every single one except for uh, Simon. Simon. That's gonna be it. Yeah. I beat every Pokemon. You must be on break. Oh, I see why. He doing what I do when I call him uh, and I uh, talk to him to get the day over faster. I don't blame you. Yeah. It means you don't need to be there. I'm telling you to do another job because you don't want to go, you know, like, you know where I'm going to go. You don't want to keep going. That's going to build up on you. I actually like where my TV is. It's like right on my eye level. Oh, I actually like it. I mean, that's my TV. You can do whatever you want with your TV. I'll be trying. When you get the chair, then what? You get the what? A chair? Game chair. I don't know if I'm gonna get a game chair. Like, I'm getting older, where I'm kind of like growing out of games. Not because I don't like them, because, you know, the generation before is not the same with what it is now. Yeah, so it's like, eh. Because they're not gonna bring back, like, fire, rationing, playing, like, those type of genres. I mean, yeah, they. I mean, they remastered it, but I know they're coming out with a new Crash Bandicoot. Bandicoot. And, and who? Tax. T A K. Yeah, I mean, play, uh, you know, like, um, yo, what's good, AJ? My bad, I didn't even notice. I was in all another screen. And, uh, Cyberpunk, Avengers, and, uh, the other game. Mm. I'm, I'm digging the, uh, Hold on, there's a um, there's a samurai game that just dropped. I was gonna, but I think you can only get it online or go to the store and get it out. Remember? This called Ghost. Yeah, I want to get it. No, it's not. It's the graphics. They say the graphics look great. Crazy. You crazy? <laughs> he said it wide out. He's crazy. They can fire. Mm-hmm. 
I'm surprised my phone is still on 2% and it's still off. Oh, that dude. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm literally on. Yeah, that's that oh. We have a long way to go. <laughs> God. Which one of these are quicker to fill? God, maybe the gauntlet damage may be the quicker to fill. Because it's literally 12. So I need to be a gauntlet. to be my blue core then. Oh, let me put my charge on. Hey, uh... What? She um, I don't have to wait till she get back. She's uh taking a, she about she's gonna be with her mom. Mhm. Mm I mean, she said I could still send her home, but I mean, it's gonna have to wait till she come back. I mean, just email it to my uh, to my account so I can email it to her. They don't play my favorite song. Oh, okay. I just know like finding a home is gonna take off a minute. That's why I'm not in a rush. That's why I'm just saving my money. So whenever the house do suck us up and it's a nice looking house. Hold on, we don't have to look in one county no more. Since I don't because that program put on pause, so we can look at home outside of that county. Like, I saw a nice house in Griffin. Like, it was really nice. But y'all don't want to move that far. Man, I ain't trying to move that far. But that Griffin is over there in the country. It is, but it got basically the houses that ain't close to the city are the best looking ones. Because so. nobody wants to live there. I mean, our house is out there. It's out there somewhere waiting for us. I'm not in the woods.
I will open you. I need to play experimental. I'm trained on everybody's granddaddy over here. Yeah, I'm gonna focus on not the damage. Look at that beautiful, beautiful green. That bomb <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I hate to say it, just because of what I have to go through. Like, I gotta do all this running to catch a dog. Get at work. I said, be good at work. It's gonna go by fast. 
Oh. Three, two, one, draw! Those guys are fair. Ooh. I'm just chilling. I'm calm. Ooh. So calm today. Grind continues. Oh, the grind will be long today. Fire, so three points. 
some frequent Okay. But you don't know me well enough to reply. I don't really know. It's funny. You have something in your teeth, but when you try to stop me, I wanna take it out of you really properly. Girl, I think you love me. But you're a bad boy, you do it this way. I know what you're busy for me. God, Lee, with my, I'm so aggressive when I'm not on stage. I don't know why I did that.
Oh my god. Okay. Was it enough? Yeah. Thank gosh, I'm not trying to hit that way. Oh, girl. Bad core. Oh, that was. Uh, okay. Can't be doing that no more. Bad core. Why'd you grab that? Why did you grab that? Okay, now we playing games today. They really was coming at me with the disrespect to the. Oh. oh no. Okay, that was not what I was listening to. They came through with the disrespect to the. Oh wow. I don't even know what to say. Regardless if I'm winning or not, that was just terrible. Don't rush, slow touch, run out of go country, grab and fight. No buts, no tight, no line. I can't trust, I can't run. Easy buts, ready to go, go, we they go up. Catch my vibe, let me go off. Blam the trash, man, it's so tough. All right, yo, put the belly on the bike, make a cut. She no watch, now she wanna give props. Three, two, one, roll! Life sugar, girl, I'm off get what? When she want to talk, tell her to meet me at the top. She lives all over there, I'm gonna be for a boss. We need some more clear sweat up. Leave me with that now. I ain't nothing with my pockets, fight like hell. Deep throat, I don't know no better. Benzo truck, white seats, and he never. He will never. On my game, she make it clap like I'm busted. I got a juice for sauce and all them things. I blammed her twice a night. I'm from my game. Old nights in the shoebox, keep my shots, no gloves, and up in a new place. 
she might just Walk in the mood, babe, when the eyes not me Toss on the coupe, I said I'd lost Right my rungs, be my mum, why you to do your thumbs Count my songs, this is gonna get long Look my green, I'm tryna get strong Tryna get on, where I'm from, be fun Yes, I know I take no dumb threats They be fun, they hot threats We build it up, not up, next I go gun, grab and buy, I can go buy No. <laughs> oh, I did not expect that.
Oh, I'm a I know if you look at too much, you say, Why did you grab the bomb core? <laughs> you no. Know. Hey, what's good, Dark Side? <laughs> That's how you feel? <laughs> I already done handled it. <laughs> Uh, it's already been handled. <laughs> you said only you won't care about me. Oh no, nah, they wasn't talking about uh, Mr. Caramel. They was talking about my hair. And I just stayed quiet because one thing I learned about the internet, everything doesn't need me to say stuff. And secondly, you know, if you're curious about why my hair is like that, I will respect you more for asking me why my hair is like that than trying to attempt to uh, disrespect my hair. You know, we are all different cultures and we don't wear our hair the same way. So if they don't benefit you, that's kind of weird to me. Yeah. I didn't even say anything. I just escorted him off the stream because idiocy is at its finest tonight. And I don't have time to be concerned about other people. So scared. Yeah, I just don't have the time. You said you finished the battle pass a couple days ago. Yeah, hey, that's good. I haven't. I'm trying to complete it now. I, like, I feel it's weird because now I feel better playing the experimental mode than the day 2v2 mode. Because they over here, you know, just doing the most. <laughs> At least I'm going to get some love on here. They'll be like, okay, that was a good game or something. Who can say that? To be too, they don't care about your life. Okay, I'm not hearing nothing. You said you could finally be free from the game, at least right now. I mean, hold on, I saw this frame that was really pretty. It was like, um, it was like a diamond top frame, but it had different colors. Like, I wonder if that's something old or is that something they just run for the game because i've never seen that frame i was fighting somebody i think that's the only thing i probably would want like something a colorful looking frame i want the side of these dingy looking frames dang it's like it's not enough for me to hit them that's crazy to me yeah, it's so short trying to get on me. He said a friend on top of your board is called a UI thing. Girl, you done killed yourself trying to do too much. I gotta fix um core this thing is so weird. Fix my man
Instead, I should have a Sky Forge and Gold Forge, a Ranch. They need to have it where the spam can play with the spam, the passive can play. That's what they need to have. I like that Grand Theft Auto. They have that where if you're a bad sport, you play with other bad sports. Oh my god, that would make me want to play this game more. Ugh. It would, honey, it would. You said that, said, well, okay, I read that part. You say you're trying to beat Mario Odyssey right now. I have been looking at Nintendo Switch. I need to go back to my Legend of Zelda. And I need to go back to, um, let, no, 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 Luigi's Mansion. I forgot all about those games. Oh, hold on. You threw me off. He said, acting like a bill. What you mean? Ooh, wrong, wrong move, Cor. I felt that. I felt the right move coming, and I did the wrong move. Okay, back up, please, lady. He's trying to block me from getting my weapon. I don't like him to do that. I mean, when I go into a Zoom stream, I just say hey to you, and I say hey to Zoom. Everybody else, I kind of leave alone because. When I first went to his um, his stream, is that his mod turned me off? I was like, I don't even want to be in here. But I just stay quiet. But I know who you're talking about by Divine. But that's why I, I think that's why I now see when people be like, oh, you know, I don't like being in blah 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 stream because this person do that. I can see how it can spoil it for somebody. Hey Zena, what's good Zena? Hey friends. No problem Zena. Zena, you been showing me mad love, so you so you don't have to say thank you. Yeah, but like I said, when I pop up a Zoom stream, I just come and say show some love to Zoom and you, Dark Side. Everybody else. I saw that one person that was in the stream that I was kind of chatting with. Other than that, I'll be staying quiet. Cause I just didn't, I just never knew that being like, oh yeah, you know, I'm a female, I play games, would just conjure up so much negativity in the conversation. Like, that's a turn off. Hey, like, we gotta grow up from all this mess with the whole girls and games. Like, Oh no. He says them for some reason won't get rid of random. I mean, did you ask him in private? Maybe he knows them, I don't know.
I mean, I just feel like he just needs to chill out because, you know, he's messing with Zoom's potential viewers that may want to sub to him. But you got like a toxic mod that just wants to kick people off stream just because they can't because they don't like them, then that can really hurt Zoom. It really can. I had a couple of mods that were getting on my nerves and then I would take the mod away because they was hurting the viewers that were coming in. You know, you can't do that. Oh, I don't listen to him. I don't interact with him either. I just realized, you know, he seems immature to me and I don't fight with people that are immature. I just can't give him a conversation. He's the only info as to why that is or fear. Yeah, if that's the case, then yeah, you're going to try to hold on to who's been there when you didn't have a lot of people supporting you. Yeah, I kind of do that as well. I kind of give grace to some of the squad members because they've been there for me. So, I'm trying to figure out what I'm trying to do here. Cause I, I've been just coring it up. I'm like, where am I going with this? Okay, got this damn it. I need to do some Tuesday too because I think we're trying to break two, that 1v1. One one. One. Oh, yeah. Okay, that'll work. Yeah, that's good. Try to grab them from below instead of trying to ground pound. It seems a lot safer to do that. In my opinion. That thing is not safe. I gotta stop doing it. That thing gets me in trouble. He said, but if he did try to ban me, we would have gotten rid of him. Yeah, that's why I appreciate y'all, you know, you and Zoom for, you know, saying like, chill out. I just thought it was very toxic to do that. Especially when somebody's like, I can't imagine positive people coming to his stream saying, hey, Zoom, how you doing, Zoom? And then here he comes, you know, trying to ban folk <laughs> for no reason. That doesn't seem like a true supporter to me. That's why I don't trust people. Oh, that person knew. Kudos to that person knowing I was going to ground town. That was good. Oh, that grab was short though. I ain't trying to 1v1 like that, Mr. Ninja, sir. I'm just trying to get my my battle pass game up. I'm just switching between 2v2s and 1v1s. Because it's easier for me to focus on one than two people beat me up. Said you mustache. Okay, mustache. I'm sorry. 
You better stop. I know that Sparks was not about to take me down like that. These weapons heavy. Oh my. Okay, that saved me. That's all that saved me. That didn't though. He said the vine was chill, but now he's a bit toxic. I like how he's crying over the game. I mean, you know how people are when they get to the game. You get a little, you know, emotionally invested. You just want to do good in the game, you know what I'm saying? Nobody likes to get beat up over and over again. I don't like it. So that's good to have that, that determination to want to get better. Because eventually you will. Alright, let me do some 2v2s. You see you're about to punish that butt. <laughs> It'd be like that. That's why I give big props to Super Smash Brothers. Like, if that game, you say you want to join, you can join. Like, if I knew the game when it came out, I probably would go and practice and try to get better at that game. Because you will actually have to know what you're doing. I will basically play Captain Falcon because I love Captain Falcon. You say you mean punish, not a game punish. Oh, Lord. Ooh. All right, take it easy, mustache. Let me see what I need to do. Let's start breaking down these cannon wings. I need to get these cannons together. Be winter. He said he was being a fool earlier today. Oh, no. I don't know. I guess everybody just acts silly when they get on the internet. I don't know. I'm trying to see if I'm gonna squeeze some Fortnite tonight. I'm having to show no love to that game. I'm about to be Lynn Fair until I get something completed. You can get the cars and cannon. I don't remember if they said I have to get Kales or Wins or whatever. Hitting me with that axe. Oh, be careful. Because you know, if he hit hard and Nash hit hard too, that's like, the, the shenanigans have started. Got me. Okay. All right, I don't get why people do that. What you just said, Dark Side. Like, I can read past in my eyes. Like, if you play passive or you play, you know, you spam, you know, own up to it. Just be like, this is how I play. But it's weird to me that when you do it, you complain that somebody else do it, then that means you know how annoying it is. Like, I, I, I just don't get that.
I guess winning is in their blood that bad. He said Zoom stream was wild. Yeah, Zoom be getting uh, a lot of viewers and I'm glad showing him that love. Oh. I'm all for that support, man. It's just like, at this point, I'm just saying, you just gotta own your fighting style. You can't certify someone does basically the same thing you're doing. This is weird. Yeah, we sticking with Lin Fei, because the Qatar KO and then the Cannon Legend wins. We're gonna knock out two and one. And we focus on that. Okay, you only got a couple of colors. It's okay though. You said hella sweaty. <laughs> it's just like it's just like I say, you know, we wanna win. Like who is who plays to lose? Like yo, I'ma go and be the best loser I can be. So I can understand that. But it's no need to throw a fit when you catch an L though either. It's not a big deal. I think it's worse when you talk too much trash and you get your butt whooped. Then nobody's going to forget. Cause they're going to be like, yo, you talking all that trash. And you got your butt whooped. It, made, it reminded me of the match that Sonic Fox and this other guy. I don't, I don't think it was Perfect Legend. I don't know if that was terrible. But basically, he beat him 3-0, and and he got mad, and was like, oh, you know, he cheated because his character was basically an overpowered character, blah, blah, blah. So he said, all right, bruh. <laughs> he said, I'm going to pick another player, and let's throw another set down. And he whooped him again, and I'm just like, sometimes it's just best to know you can't win every game. And now they just destroying this man. Is this not worth it? You said you lied. You're okay. I'm gonna just do what I can do. I'm sorry. He said that's why you're not arrogant. You're complaining about people using Scarlet. You ain't Scarlet. Like I said, I don't know why people do that. Yeah. My Lin Fei couldn't finish her move in time. That's interesting. You gotta get both of them, I guess. There you go. I was trying to get that girl. You ain't walking out of here with a three stop young lady. I'll be going in when I say I feel defenseless. Mm -hmm. Oh, they don't let me get the weapon. That's nice. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. If they was on one side, that would have been done. But that's probably all I can do. Yeah, they can double team.
Yeah, they're going to double team. You say your screen is like disgusting, the lag is real. You say it's big dumb. He's a 2.8 thing, no love, like. Oh, we talking about yourself? You don't got 2.18? He said, I do. I don't know who's messing with my subs, but I'm going to tell you right now. I can't have 2.18 million followers and literally have at least 3 to 10 people in the stream. That, just don't, <laughs> that doesn't add up. So I know I don't have that. And if I do, where are they hiding at? Well, I must got some hidden subs if that was the case. I have an appropriate amount, but it's nowhere near no damn new. He said they're hiding the people in the stream. They are. They they're all the way back. <laughs> Three, two, one, brawl. the bomb of destruction. Nice. I'm trying to get him out. Baby, thank you. Boy, they defense on like a hundred percent. That's the okay. Oh no, sir, ma'am. You said we got those, yeah. You trying to get those dead. Well, I'm trying to level up, but yeah, get those dead. <laughs>
Oh wow, okay. I'm coming over there so I can help. Got him. They are trying to double team me. Hold up. Man, I forgot about me. I'm your new permanent partner. Oh, Lord. I suppose you are. You say just put no these on because of me. Oh, you ain't have to do that much bad. I'll just be chilling on here. This song slow. Oh, be careful. Okay, yeah, be careful.
My size don't interact with fools. It's not. You gotta learn how to not like waste your words. You know what I'm saying? Because when Imbos souls talk, it's just because they got nothing to say. They just want a reaction. That's why my face be looking like this. Sleepy's in here. Yeah, that's a yeah, that's a dumb down. That was us like stealing idiotic here. I'm just like, okay. This is surely a child. I ain't seen Sleepy in 30 years. He said you need gauntlet damage. Some gauntlet sword. Sleepy, what's been going on with you? I said laugh out loud, really. Yeah, you're just saying stupid stuff. Yeah, I'm a bad person move. Okay. Oh, okay, I didn't know you're still in here chilling or did you come back? Right now, this stream is the chill zone. So I know I'm trying to grind right now. It's the chill zone. And also a judge, please don't. Um... Showing. I think I'm gonna stay up a little bit. Yeah. 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 So you just went working and stuff and chilling. Yeah, same here. I feel like time is moving so freaking fast. 
that literally when I get home, I just want to crash. I'll be like, F the game, I want to sleep. I don't know if that, it just feels like time is going so fast for me. Because literally last week, last Sunday, I was like, oh, I'm dreading going to work, and now it's the weekend. Oh, Lord, no. Say, yes, sir, sweetie. <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir. Just shake your head to the beat. Yeah, I kind of gave hip hop a, a chill pill because I'm just tired of hearing what they talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like they talking about the same stuff, and I'm like, I'm getting tired of hearing it. So I had uh, when I was on my Apple Music, so you know Apple Music is for the douchey. Uh, I ran across this playlist that said Apple Soul Mix, and I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll mess with it. And then the beats was fire, and they talk about like a range of, just a range of things. And I kind of felt relieved. And then it's kind of got like a Spanish mix, like salsa music mixed in there. And I like the versatility. The hip hop being just straight up the same crap. And it's like I rarely hear them use profanity. I don't mind a little cuss here and there, but I ain't trying to hear it in literally every verse. Oh my God, really? Yeah, no. of the game, but then I'm not getting used to it. While I'm attacking him, see, see these boys, the old enemies. She taunted with him and everything, and then let him die. Nah, bro. Yeah, that was not your friend. Definitely not your friend. Nah, bro. That's 
that's what I'm talking about. That was smooth. I came in with the cannon, like scoop them up. For a long, long time. He said, yeah, the same music in hip hop. That's why you switch to reggae music. He's I'm excited for the heat wave event on Wednesday. He said, on anime. He said, well, I'm Jamaican, but anime bleach coming home is fire. All bleach music is fire. He said, yeah, I'm Jamaican too. That's what's up. Yeah, I'm starting to get more into different cultures. Like, I love me some salsa music. I love rock music. I like Afro, soul, Afro Latino. I just need something different. Like, I can mess with the reggae a little bit, but when that rough, aggressive, masculine voice starts speaking over the song, I get a little scared, but I'm trying to get used to it. Like, I'm trying to adapt to something different. But that hip hop stuff, that sex does, women repeat, repeat, repeat crap, I'm kind of over it. It's over because they don't be having a lifestyle like that anywhere. You said really nice to make them this cool. Yeah, and then they don't like hip hop don't think about the younger generation when they, you know, make certain songs and that's really be discouraging. Because those little kids think that's okay and they're gonna be full grown adults out there. And that's not real life. You know, nobody is not going to the club, popping bottles, grabbing women by the kitty cats. You know, got cars lined up everywhere, and then getting into drugs, and then repeat. This world is so big, and so diverse, it's not even a joke. Like, that's crazy to me. That is literally a born life to have. Hey, be proud. I can't imagine every day to the club, popping bottles, get the girls, drink, repeat. All that's on born as hell. He said, tired of drugs and stuff is boring. Yeah, then you got these dumb chillin'. That's what I call dumb chillin'. Singing the songs and think, it's talking about I'm gonna go ahead and do this or do that because I think it's cool. I was like, being in that hood life is not cool. That's, that's survival mode. When they talk about getting it out the mud, you don't want to be a part of that. I'm going to stay over here where it's safe. And I'm going to abide by the rules. I'm good. I don't want to sell drugs and do all this stupid stuff. But it's sad that they're trying to make it out a trend. And it's not a trend. That's somebody's life. There's nothing cool about having multiple partners. It ain't funny when you end up with a disease in your private area. And then the old sex of thing I gave it to you. Ain't nothing cute about that. Like, that is really dumb to me. And then majority of the songs that they make is for the strip club. Like, don't you hear what they talking about? They not talking about no educated woman or no educated man trying to figure out their life. Being a chef, a doctor, or whatever they want to be. They talking about somebody shaking them butt cheeks for that cash, working on the pole. That's been mainly the music and the genre of women they talk about. And it's just to me, that it's nothing cute about that. Like, you want your girl to be popping that thing and... <laughs> Golly, what? That's crazy.
don't know. As for right now, all I can do is pretty much just hope for a better future. Because right now, this generation is going downhill with the, this, the morals of livelihood. It was killing me because it was um, Regina Carter, Little Wayne's daughter. And her father, which is Little Wayne and 50 Cent, they was coming together and they was talking about women and um, basically what's exotic, what's not, just crapping on the African American women as usual. And at that case, I'm just like, I'm just over it. Three, I'm just two, over it. Because I never four. knew that just what they're talking about will be that serious until I'm at the age that I'm, I, I am now and realizing it around me. Like, you're talking about, you know, you don't prefer women of a certain skin tone, but your daughter is a, very much the women you're talking down upon. And her resume, you know, she has to come up to her dad and was like, I'm a beautiful, you know, young girl, you know what I'm saying? I'm blessed, I'm a queen, you know, I'm beautiful and all this other stuff. And I'm just like, that's just strange to put your daughter in a predicament where she has to find this acceptance that she's a nice looking woman at that point. You know, a lot of people was hating on Regina Carter because she didn't get plastic surgery on her body. I'm like, what the hell is going on with this world? Like, it shouldn't be nobody over here manipulating their body or their face, especially if they don't want to. Or be joking on somebody for something that they can't change. Like, this, this world is just very strange to me at this point. Okay, feature, you done slipped in the song mix because I know I was listening to some beautiful music and the future is like going to slide they hairlines all up in my... Y'all gonna have to calm down because I they, No, they didn't try to slide in like that. Grab me a weapon. Get these characters out of here. Oh. Okay, we gotta be careful. He said, doesn't matter how you look on the message, what's in your heart, but it's not around anymore. Hell no! Like, every time I'm going to YouTube, I'm always seeing these YouTubers talking about colorism. And I'm like, at first, I was ignoring it because I was trying to see something funny, but then I just started watching these YouTubers and um, their perspectives of what they're going through, and it's getting on my nerves at this point, because it's like, while this pandemic is going on, we shouldn't be over here talking about how people look like. Like, that is, people over here dying, do you think they care what they look like when they about to take their last breath on the table? I really could care less how I look like because the first thing is I just want to be alive. I want to be able to enjoy life. But like I can give a, a darn 
what people gonna think. Like, what's the point? But I'm just so tired of people just clapping. Like, this YouTuber, she made perfect sense. She was like, y'all like who y'all like. You know, you have your preference, you know, whatever. But don't crap on another race to verify this is the reason why you like that race. You know what I'm saying? If you like Asian people, just say you like Asian people. Don't say I like Asian people because Indian people stink. Like, what? Like, you crapping on a whole nother race to verify why you like a race instead of just saying, I like this race. And it's just becoming just out of pocket at this point. Or just joking on somebody's features. Like, they crapping on dark women everywhere it doesn't matter you know it's so many different shades of black and it don't just run african american it's indian asian white everywhere and they just it kills me to see a little kid already like that little girl she was like maybe six five i don't know but she was really young and she had dreads and the beautician was doing her hair and then she just said I'm ugly. And she was like, I'm so ugly. And then the beautician was like, what did you say? She's like, I'm ugly. She said, what the hell? Like, who told you that? You like five. Why would you think of that? Because somebody at school, elementary, Three, said something two, stupid to her. One, like, you can't allow a child to just be a child. We got to let the child know that their life is going to be hard as they get older. Like, at that, you know, we're not supposed to be talking about people's children like that. And no, that girl wasn't ugly at all. Just because she had beautiful chocolate skin and she had dreads and somebody didn't understand that, that they had to eliminate her from the group and deem that as unattractive. It's rare for women to have, you know, dreadlocks. Like, dreads are beautiful as hell. Especially when you know how to take care of them and it grows, it's very beautiful. And people be hating on people with, you know, very nice dark chocolate skin. That's why they be saying melanin poppers, because it's a lot of melanin. Melanin determines the color of your skin tone. So the darker you are, the more melanin you have. That's why when Caucasian people go outside in the sunlight, they require sunscreen when darker skin tones don't really need it. Because that melanin is protecting them from the sun and other harmful things in the environment. Which a lot of people don't know because they're stupid. But... It's just wild to me. Um, what was it? Another YouTuber that I thought was interesting that I was watching. She made a Tinder profile. But she made one when she was like a light-skinned woman and she made one that, you know, how she was now, which is a dark-skinned woman, because she wanted to see if it mattered. Oh, honey, it mattered. She said every two, every two swipes when she was light-skinned, she got matches versus every three swipes that she got likes when she was basically herself, which is a dark-skinned woman. The second thing was when she appeared as a lighter skinned woman, the man was being more kinder to her, like saying, hey, how you doing? Uh, making lighthearted jokes. It was very respectful versus when she was herself, they said demeaning things like, of course, you know, the old crusty saying, you look good for a dark skinned girl or I didn't know over there in Ghana there would be beautiful women. Like you just took a whole country and you just assume they ugly over there. And then when you're when you see someone very beautiful and you say, Oh, I'm from this part of this country, you're like, Oh, I know there's pretty people over there. That is stupid. You know, somebody told her that come on, let's make an Oreo. Somebody said, like, are you this and this? Because I wanna F you. Like it was very aggressive when it came to her being herself, but she's a dark skinned versus when she photoshopped herself being the lighter skinned person. So for someone to say that, oh, that's a coincidence, people are just people, you're basically being blind to the fact that this is real. She literally put it on YouTube. And so she was saying that she's not 
insecure of herself. She loves herself the way she is. She just wanted to show other people how colorist and how racism and how we can be very judgmental. And I was just like, it messed me up. Yes. I was just like, wow. I didn't know how far it can go into your livelihood, to your jobs, to your family, your friends, going to school. It's embedded in so many things. No wonder many people don't have Three, identity. Two, like, you don't one, even know what you one. like because someone or what you've seen on TV has told you, hey, this looks good, this doesn't. You should try for this and you should try for that. So you don't know originally what you like before you got programmed to consider what is deemed to live a good life and what's not a good life. Like when they say the American dream, go ahead and live the American dream. If somebody said you're not going to achieve the American dream unless you sleep because it's literally 1% of the country that has achieved the American dream. So... It's just like watching a lot of YouTubers and being enlightened by it and talking to my peers and my family about it. It really showed me a different perspective of this world. Like I wasn't just sitting on my butt playing video games. I was like, nah, let me kind of educate myself a little more and understand, you know, why the world is, why it is basically today. Like it pissed me off because like um I was learning about how colorism is in TV shows like uh, Penny Proud, uh, The Prince of Bel Air, The Steve Harvey Show. It was uh, my wife and my kids. Basically, those are like back in the day African American shows. Um, Martin. All those shows had a basically a colorism element or elements in it and I never picked up on it because I was just like the show is about our people so I didn't care but when I listened to how they broke it down I was mad I was like oh man like this is wild like Martin basically Martin Lawrence and Gina basically dwell into their lives and how they basically correlate. But you have this darker skinned woman, her name is Pam. And she, when I said she was so pretty, she was very pretty. And um, I never knew that Martin didn't have lines. Like when he had to insult Pam, there was no lines. He improvised everything that he just said. And I was like, oh, so he was over here talking straight trash. There was no prepared trash. This man was just coming off of the dome disrespecting Pam in the show and I was just like regardless if it's just a show we don't know how Pam felt after she got off set and then went back to her normal livelihood because I know I couldn't take every single show that I'm involved in I'm getting trashed on or I'm getting clapped on all because you know she's a chocolate sister Yeah, it, it's there. Like, you can look it up on YouTube. I don't got to show no receipt because everything is on YouTube. You just got to be open to look for it. Yeah, so they were saying, like, Penny Proud. A lot of people know what Penny Proud is. Some people may not. You have to look better for yourself. But they have a character named Deja, uh, Deja May. And she's basically the dark skin chick. And, you know, Penny is the light skin pretty girl. And there's another girl. And she's known as like the Afro Latina. And basically, Penny's the main character, and she has a lot of positive traits. Like, she's family oriented. She's a smart girl. She's the girl that all the guys like. And Deja Nay is a dark skinned chick. They made a little ghetto. And they basically saying she's loud. She's unattractive. She's just basically a negative outlook. So, they were showing clips of basically Dejanae being refused by a bunch of the male characters in the show. And they actually had a clip where Dejanae had a big star moment. 
and she was at a poetry jam and she was speaking poetry and everybody was applauding her and saying, hey, you did a good job, Deja Man. But there's one thing that I saw and it went whoosh right over my head. Dejanae asked Penny, she said, did I do a good job? Only if you said I did a good job, I will believe I did a good job. And they stopped the frame and they was basically saying that Dejanae, being a darker skinned individual, was looking for validation through Penny, which she's a lighter skinned individual. Because that's what's unfortunately not all, but some dark skinned women, they hang around lighter skinned women to basically reap those benefits. Just like when someone says you have a privilege or you have a white privilege or black privilege or whatever, I didn't pick that up. And you know, when I watched Penny Cow, I didn't pick that up. But when I heard them break it down and it went right over me, I was like, that pisses me off. And then Penny was upset with Dejanae for having Three, a talent two, that she was one, good at because wrong. she didn't believe that dark skinned individuals are not talented. Because I, I just never picked up on it. Because when David May was like, oh, Penny, did I do a good job? Because everybody's cheering, but if you say I did a good job, then I did a good job. And Penny literally said, you know, it was basically it wasn't that good and you stole my moment. And then she literally walks off scene. And that's when I knew at that point my childhood is basically ruined. Very ruined. Because now I can't just watch a show to watch a show. I'm over here analyzing it, looking at the character's development, seeing what type of environment they laid in. So it was a bit wild at that point. He said, you think you watch one episode? Oh, Penny Fire was really a good series. Well, one of my favorite series was Static Shock. Oh, oh my god. I love that cartoon. Static Shock was stuff right there. And then I, I remember when they was going to put Static Shock in Injustice. Oh my goodness, like they had the character layout and everything. When I said that man looked fire, they looked fire. But because he was a black character, they said basically there was enough characters, which is Jack and Jackie Briggs. And I said, what the hell? <laughs> There's only two black characters. What well, that Mortal Kombat? Hold on, let me see. Is there other characters in it? I don't even, hold on. I'm trying to think of other black characters. Hold on, no, no, no. Cyborg from Team Titans. And there's one more black character. But I can't remember the other one in it just yet. But literally, I think Mortal Kombat and Injustice is literally like two black people. I think they upped it to three because of that dude that can bend time. Yeah, but they basically literally had a prototype and they just refused to put Fatter Shock in Injustice. And everybody was pissed because it was literally just a quicker reason to not put him in there. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It's just been pretty much anything. It just gotta be better at this point. Like, for example, the best thing they did in video games is Clementine, which was off of basically The Walking Dead. They made a very strong black young lady role, and then she grew, grew up to be a strong, basically a teenager. And that was very successful. And also because of the, um, I forgot that man in you know, The Walking Dead. That he was a uh, strong black role. Because I think it was the first Walking Dead game. But basically his background was he came out of prison with the zombie apocalypse happened. He was in a police car, da da da. But the point was, even though it was a stereotype way, like putting the black man in jail, oh, stereotype. It didn't continue off that stereotype. They made him a very good character in The Walking Dead. They showed a lot of admirable traits. You know, he adopted Clementine and showed her ways of how to survive the zombie apocalypse. Like, stuff like that. 
is what people need to see. Not that BS. Not the colorism, stereotypes, and racism. Just make a character and just let it be a character. You said never knew it was like that. Oh, that's your favorite. Yeah, I love um, Walking Dead. Like, I haven't played it, but I like watching other people play it because it's like a little movie. And I be grabbing my little water, my little snacks. Because sometimes I like to watch other people play games. Oh, thank you, Sleep. I wasn't even paying attention while I was fighting. I was too involved with talking about these characters. And I'm still trying to find this song because they done slid the little future in here hold on i'm supposed to be doing something okay we heard that maybe um he said little sisters are annoying it'd be like that unfortunately i never i'm the baby of my family so i never experienced little brother little sisters but I think like basically this world will be better off if we wasn't too busy comparing each other and being stupid and just enjoying a person just for being whatever their characteristics are from you know their mentality and what they do because it's, it's getting quite just like it's getting late I can't imagine you know, just going somewhere, and then I'd be like, "Ew, I don't like how that person looks like." <laughs> and I need to punish them for something they didn't control at birth. Like that is weird. And people are literally getting killed and losing their lives because somebody just don't agree with them breathing. That is just wild. And then I'm not concerned about the grown people because y'all, you know, they know better. Y'all know better. If you old enough, you know, to talk smack and talk trash, you old enough to know the difference of what's morally good and what's morally wrong. Because it takes too much effort to be a, you know, to be nasty. It takes too much effort to be nasty. But. But I'm more disappointed in the younger generation because y'all have a choice. You don't have to take the burdens of what the present generation has done and then continue it, basically making it worse. You know, if you got people in your family or friends or even your partner acting stupid, you're the future. You can put a stop to it, you know what I'm saying, and take a better step forward. But instead, you're making a choice to continue the buffoonery, which is the stupidity, and just make the next generation have to pick up the slack. And like, I'm kind of proud because there are, you know, younger individuals that are not going along with the flow. And they be like, you know what, this is not right. We shouldn't be messing with these people. And I'm proud of them. But there's too many dumb dumbs out here that don't know better. But no, perfectly. Oh, uh, but are perfectly aware of what they're doing. It's stupid. But you don't want to be basically cut off from the crowd because you want to fit in. No, hold on, I stabbed him with these guitars and he's still... Oh yeah, you gotta be precise. 
He saw all this shit up ending the past. That's what that, yeah, you right up on it. That's what I'm basically saying. Like, at this point, we're literally continuing what's been going on for who knows how many years. Like, nobody decided, like, hey, we're not gonna go this route. Instead of just doing something different, they over here <laughs> finding new ways to be stupid at this point. He said, move on to the future, help our neighbor country that really needs help. Kids by my heart. That's what I'm saying. We got bigger things to be concerned about than to be worrying about who you like. Because what's that's why I said I don't really like listening to the hip hop music too much because of what they're saying. You know, when someone says you are what you eat or you don't listen to too much of that certain music, it becomes you. You know what I'm saying? What's good, Two Pain? Welcome, welcome. So you want to be careful what you put in your mind and what you put in your body every day. You know what I'm saying? You said, can I play? Remember me? Yeah, you can come on. Come on in. Hey, Mustache, you don't mind sharing? Um, sharing with Two Pain? So it's like when I say stuff like that, People don't want to hear me talk like that. You rather me act stupid on here so y'all could be like, oh, all girls like that. But no, nah, I'm going to be honest. Listening to this hip hop music is, is really toxic. They be talking mad trash on women. They be talking mad trash on men. That could be you. You know what I'm saying? Like Future was saying, got something on my wrist you can't afford it big now like he talked about you because evidently i can't afford the jewelry that's on that man's hand calling us peasants and slaves and wannabes like i, I don't want to hear crap like that i don't want to hear no celebrity talking down on me because i'm not where they are i don't want to hear crap like that what's good Ant man you can join in come on like, I'd rather be surrounded by music and people that is uplifting me just because I'm alive in this world. Like, music like this, regardless if you don't like it, it has a positive message. They just want to dance, have fun, and love up on the people. But then when you listen to certain music, they just want to tell you how much you're poor and how much you're not anything. Unless you got drugs, money, cars, or, or a certain brand of women or men. Um, two ping. I'm only doing the two v two because I'm trying to like level up the battle pass. You know what I'm saying? So right now, that's what I'm doing. Ping. You said I played your man. You're really good. What is this? You talking about me, Ping? You talking about somebody else? Dark Slice is always hearing about drugs, taking money, well, like I don't got money. That's what I'm saying. And people be feeling like crap. Because they up there saying, you know, like you don't have this honey. You don't need a Mitsubishi to live a good life. You don't need no big old house on the hill with butlers and maids to have a good life. You don't need the baddest girl or the baddest man to have a great relationship. Who the hell says that? That is so weird to me. And then when some people start living these celebrity lives, these rappers' lives, they be like, oh, it's not all what it's cracked up to be. Uh, yeah, Dada, because that's not life. Like, however you came into this world, whatever passions you enjoy, that's what you need to be concentrated on. Like, they be killing me when they be messing with these young guys that like having jewelry on, but because they didn't spend, like, $25,000 on a neck piece, it was like, bro, you lame. You not a real man. No, you're not. If you are wearing jewelry because you like it and you not being basically fake saying, oh, this is real, you good, bro. Just wear, just wear what you like. It's just getting crazy when they trying to actually decipher what a real man is, what a real woman is, and vice versa. There's nobody that can fit the mold 
of what you can compare to as a good partner. There's only character traits, experiences that you can go through that you can actually find in people that will determine what you should look for in a partner. They don't teach y'all that when they sing them songs. They just be like, look for the finest one in the room. I'm like, okay, go ahead and be, be dumb. There's so many other beautiful men and women out here where you focus on the batter one in the club. That is so stupid to me. I gotta put it. I know that ain't a spider in my house. Oh, you about to get raided. <laughs> you about to get raided coming up in my house like this. But I think that's just a big old mosquito. You said I'll be my seven enjoy like eating mangoes and pineapple. I'm good. I know that's right. I mean, you saying it, all I'm saying is enjoy being yourself. You do not have to follow these unrealistic expectations of what you're listening to, of what you're seeing on TV, or what you're doing at your school or your job to feel valid. That is so weird. Like, you was born into this world, you didn't know what was going on. And now you got all this stuff, all this stress and pressure from the world telling you where you're supposed to fit in. You you kind of being the negative Nancy, you know what I'm saying? So, just chill, relax, enjoy your life, enjoy your life. You said you're to 85, good job for you. Good job, King. I'm trying to get to 85 so I can move on with my life. He said, man, she talks to a girl like a professional event. I mean, I guess it's, I don't really know what's up with that because I keep hearing sense and stuff and I think sense, like the word, is getting outplayed. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you why. I can, first of all, the perfect example of a sense is basically Mordecai off the regular show. That's a sense. That man... <laughs> literally killed his best friend to get some hug some kitty cat that's the thing when a young man or a man it don't matter is being kind to a female that's called being sociable that's called interacting that is not being a sense that is weird to me when you're being a gentleman and just be like hey i'm open the door for you because you know i'm just being kind that's not being a sense that's called being kind Men and women have held the door for me, and I have held the door for men, women, kids because I want to be kind, not because I wanted anything from that individual. It's because I'm being a human being. But you're supposed to treat your men that you know valuable. You're supposed to treat your women as valuable. You're not supposed to disrespect them and talk to them any type of way at anywhere and let's say disrespecting you then please you have every right to probably cuss at them and be like they leave me alone but just being kind doesn't hurt you because there's a lot of men and women out here being stupid and just the act of kindness itself like a man saying hey you look nice today oh you were sent how because he just said a girl looks nice and or if a girl say, oh, you know, you look really nice, but thank you for opening the door. And they're like, she's a simp. How? Because she's being nice? Like, you got it confused. Like, I really think you need to understand what you're saying when it comes out your mouth. But yeah, it's kind of like they're trying to take just a natural act of kindness and basically say it's simp when that is, you know, very silly. Oh, that was very hit me. You said, you said, how do I want my life? Um, my life. I kind of just want to enjoy my passion. Like, eventually, I want to stop working. <laughs> and start doing things like that I really like and taking it seriously because we're so used to just working all the time we kind of just put the things that we love on the side I was watching this show called um, I think it's called Amazing Interiors and it's on Netflix and it's basically these people that decide 
to just transform their home. Like they'll find a regular house or they'll get shipping containers. They'll just do whatever to fulfill their dream house. And I just like watching that because all it takes is just a mindset of saying, I'm about to do something to my house or I'm going to put this in my backyard and to see them absolutely completed and be happy about it. That is, you know, that's something to strive for. For example, there's this man that likes building roller coasters in his backyard. I'm not playing. He built, I think, I forgot, a 500 foot roller coaster in his backyard because he said he wanted to. And he wanted his son to, in, to enjoy the roller coaster and he wanted to bond with his son because his son is a teenager and he know how teenagers can be. And I thought that was pretty cool. You know, there was another interesting clip that I saw and it was like a cop and when he came to his house inside his house is basically horror like horror pop like Jason, Freddy Krueger, anything scary is in this man's house and I was like I never would have thought a cop a police officer would have these disturbing things in his home but I just I don't know, I just say inspiration for people that are just living out their lives and being happy and doing things and just, just being themselves. Hold on, let me read what you said, Sleepy. You said, yeah, I've been saying that word too. Dark side says, like, bruh, they ain't perfect by putting them on the pedestal. Sims are people who are attracted to women or men who degrade their own well-being just for them to interact with them. Third side says, like men be paying mad money for random women they don't even know just because they're attractive. But on the other hand, there are a bunch of idiots in this world who throw out the word without knowing what it actually means. I agree. I agree with, with what you said. My bad, P. I gotta see. Yeah, you hit it right on the... Uh, you say equip the one song or Terry 83. Hold on, let me see. I don't even know if I'm on Terry 83. Yeah, I ain't there yet. I gotta, let me see. Let me do canon now. I mean, for example, for the senses, for the men that be going on the women's pages, paying for they house, their homes, their cars, their nails, and you don't want anything from them but to just literally think that they're a god. Like you're not having any type of values, you're not building your self-identity, because you do not feel like you're worthy of having a partner, so you think that you should just grace another individual, which is crazy to me. I mean, if that's what somebody likes to do, you can't get mad at them for doing it because they're not hurting nobody. That's just something that you don't agree with. But when it's kind of like, say your mom needs your help, your mom's in a hospital, but you over here trying to give old Miss Thane some money while your mom's over there fighting for her life, you are a simp. That's a simp. That's a stupid person. Like, you got your mom out here on the table, but you want to go over there and be with a what a woman like your priorities are not aligned but calling somebody that's looking out for people and being kind to them definitely is just, just being ignorant at that point you said basically they want to air them with their so i mean not all men or women are like that but yeah it falls into the category because not all men and women want sexual favors. Some people want conversation, they want company. Like a lot of people want different things where they kind of detach a relationship and break down the things that they want. Relationships are going to be difficult regardless. So some people are not ready or mature enough to take up the good, bad, and the ugly. So they decide, oh, I'm gonna just take the good part. But then again, you're not in a relationship that you're doing things of that nature. But then again, people that do things like that, they want to blame the opposite or the same sex because it didn't work out. Which I think is just immature. You said potty word, dark side. Dark side gonna say what he's going at the end of the day. He's just expressing himself.
but this culture right now is getting real toxic. Like on YouTube, some idiot done developed what they call a cancel culture. And I'm just like, what are we doing at this point? Instead of uplifting people, helping people to get better, getting them help when they need help, you're deciding that you want to end somebody's livelihood or throw death threats like they did at Doja Cat. Whatever going on with that young lady is her business. But to go out there and just start degrading a person, at that point, y'all just, Y'all just sad within y'all fail. Yeah, I am doing a battle pass challenger. I got my eyes on it. I'm about to hit this cannon legend win next. I didn't even see what um, taunt it was. Oh, I ain't no taunt. I got a color. So I like that. He saw also ninja I saw what okay. He said you need health care, man. What you mean, mustache? What's going on? Let's see one. So you use my Zaya? Alright. Let me draw it there. I don't know. I just feel like if people didn't hate themselves so much and compare their lives to what you think is a good life, I feel like you'll be better off. I really do. Because all this negativity that's going on is because so many people that are insecure with themselves that are poor. I'm just keeping it real because all of us ain't getting money and just unhappy. And they feel like they missing out. And I'm like, you're not missing out on anything that's going on. And as soon as you realize that, you can actually start living your life in a positive way. But until you realize that, you're going to continue to be the dumb people that is on the internet trying to talk trash about other people's livelihood. Yo, what's good, KB? How you been, girl? You said you didn't do the two legends challenge that you beat the whole pack. You talking about the one that says you do a two v two where they met before? Like I don't get that. One. I don't know what they asking me to do. I really don't know what they want me to do. You said been okay to drop a name before bed. Got to be up early. Oh, you got work, Kavi. Yeah, KB, we was uh, basically talking about the world today and how negative it is, colorism, racism. We going all up over there today talking about sins and how some people are just going with the trend, not fully educating themselves about what it is and how a lot of people are spreading misinformation just, just to do it. You said Carol's about the Lord. Oh. He said, how I been? Um, I've been all right. I've been tired from work. Like mentally tired. So I'm glad to be home. Like, I feel good because me and my manager, we're going at it, but we good. My manager's trying to look out for me. So I'm just like, ooh, thank you, Lord. Like, I literally need a vacation at this point. He said, yep, here, stay without doing their own research. Yeah, and it mainly be the young folks. And now, we was, oh yeah, we were also talking about basically, in so many words, the generational curse. Meaning when the older people of this generation are having these kids and they continue what the older generation is doing. So right now, this colorism and racism has magnified because we got the young ones doing it. Which, instead of basically progressing the negativity of this world, they can actually be focusing on making better steps.
because I was telling him about this young girl. She's five. I was saying she's like five or six or something like that. And she was getting her hair done by the beautician, and the young girl was calling herself ugly. Like it went viral. She was just like, "I'm ugly," and, and the beautician stopped and was like, "Why would you say that about yourself?" But she couldn't explain herself because she was too busy like crying. And I thought it was sad because how young she was. And I was just like, no young, you know, young lady or young boy should be concerned about how they look like or feel that they're unattractive, especially at that age. Yeah, I had to be patient because I was like, he, he over here hitting me with this uh, combo. Alright, I gotta do this six more times if I get this. He said you gotta read the story to get it or just do Don and Morty because everyone knows that. You talking about in the beginning where they have a... Uh, what are those things called? Those little bios? He said, uh, she said, no, don't beg or bother. He said, 1v1 me once, please. Oh, he's telling me to fight you. Oh, I didn't even see it. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. He is the proof. Um, you said, at that age, you'll be climbing cheese. That's what I'm saying. Like, the kids are supposed to be out here just doing kid stuff. They shouldn't be worrying about how they look or getting Nikes or whatever the hell kids be doing, because I don't know. Um, good night ant man i'm just saying there's other things to be concerned about than how you look at this point unless your goal is trying to date everybody in the world good luck because your looks and you're gonna be in a plastic surgeon office every day all day because there's too many there's too many features on people it's just too many people love too many different things. It's just impossible at this point. I don't know who I want to play. I'll play Cole. 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 Yeah, I'm going to play. That's what I'm saying. Like, y'all, people, some people out here talking about I'm trying to be the, the most sexiest thing on this earth. And I'll be like, good luck. Because there's no such thing as somebody that can be attractive to everybody. Everybody? Nah, that ain't gonna happen, big Kendra. Just not gonna work. Three, two, one, four. I said, do well. I mean, I ain't in the mood to do no one v one, but I'll do what I can do.
Oh, I don't have it on stocks. Oh, I didn't know. My bad, thing. I got a change on stocks. We may have to redo that one. We have thoughts on Yeah, I don't know what's on time. Here's me. Oh my. Oh man, I did not know it was midnight. Oh. Yeah, I need to go to bed. I see you waving at me. Okay, I see you. <laughs> Yeah, I like his vibe. He give me a nice vibe. I don't feel threatened <laughs> or endangered. Oh man. Yeah, but I'm not doing 1v1 like that. I'm just doing it because he asked me. I don't know. Just being kind. But I'm trying to level up my battle code. It's amazing. You don't got it started. Hey, Bully. You said you act. 
I'm okay, my says. I'll give you a 1v1. I'm sorry. I gotta be fair now. Okay. I'm I'm sorry, my says. Dang no. Yeah. Oh, I saw that the, uh, the combo you did. See, I gotta get out of that. My mind still thinks to do the same thing. Oh, don't hate. Don't be calling me no so hard because I put out the wombo combos. Don't be trying to throw that on me. <laughs> what is it? You saw okay, remake. Okay. Who's Dr. Septic? Who's that? Who is this? Who is these people? <laughs> oh. Oh, it's like that. It's like that, y'all. You're going to do me like y'all going to slide up in here like that. Oh, Lord. See, this is the. This is how it starts. You said Septic, you don't brought your friends in? You sound famous. I ain't famous. I just got an open lobby. <laughs> That's what I have. Alright, hold on. Let me get septic in the 1v1. Mustache, come on in here so you can get your 1v1. And then I'll open it up. And then I'll open it up after. Okay. He said, I know just cheering me up. I appreciate it, King. But this, I'm just sleepy as hell. That's what I mean. Tired. You said I'm gonna. You gonna buy Sonic Mania after you do Mario Odyssey? I thought somebody told you in Zoom stream not to buy that game. Or was it Cuphead? Dark Souls. I'm gonna say Cuphead. You say it's a fake. Come on, my stash, get in here. Tell me your name. He said Sonic Forces is free. I thought I'd pick my gauntlets up in time. Be careful with that thing. Okay, now I got a big hammer room. Three, two, one, brawl. Yes, mustache. What's your um I thought you wasn't in here. Let me know when you're in here.
I'm big ground pounder. Be careful with your thing. You said bow? Okay. Alright, after this, we gave y'all him as long as we want. You say.
Oh wow, I am expecting to cuss like that. I don't know who that is. That's by him cussing. Press down. I don't know cussing. You gotta be careful, man. <laughs> God, hey, it happens to anybody. I know how that feels. You gotta be careful. Guess it's just me and you. Oh, I guess I don't know if y'all have the rest of it. I guess they said I'm about to dip. Three, two, one, roll. <laughs> you taking my weapon now? Okay. You taking weapons now? Wow, like there will be one to Oh, yeah, I was waiting for you to come in, Pain. Got you, so I got a dip. That's what I thought you were about to do. Oh, well, come on in if you want to. Well, if pain come through, then we can do a free for all. We got to do one v one. Is that two v two? Yeah, we don't two v two. I felt like he was rushing. You gotta relax, my friend. I can feel your rushing. I felt okay. He said we need a knowing team. Play some music for you. I want to go to like when the pandemic is over. I'm about to go to their little parties because they be having fun. You said Tessa want to get out real quick. Ain't nobody in here, Pin. It's just me and you. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> I thought that was mustache. My bad, Pin. I got some mixed up. Come on, come on in. Ping, I'm sorry. It's only um me and mustache. 
He said, can you use Morris? Morris or Diana? Who's Morris? Who is that? Oh, Mordex. He says it's not working. Okay, let me make a new one. So he can get in. Mordex. Alright, I can both come back in. He said you got it. Yeah. Alright. Can you be Diana? Cause I don't like Diana. I'll be more that. I can't be Diana. Oh, what's another uh combo? I gotta You not trying to let Morty go. You gonna force me to play somebody I don't care for. You say you don't own. You say you win. Alright, hold on, Pink. Cause we're trying to do this. Um... Oh, I can't stand her. I don't like her. Hmm. We're trying to do this little battle pass. Hold on, oh, man, not some kind of way. I like bow, but I can't not really. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. Look at us. Even if I said my age, y'all gonna believe what y'all would've believed at that point. Was higher than that?
Like I don't, you gotta listen to the key hints. He said, "Come in, epic. Listen to the key hints." I literally was talking about buying a house. I literally just was talking about coming from a job and talking about my manager. So, I'm not, yeah, like that. You gotta listen to those key things. I mean, 16 year olds can buy homes and have a nice job, but not everybody can. So. I mean, yeah, it's rude to ask a woman they age, but in my sense, I don't mind. It's just when I say my age, people like to tell me what age I should be, and I'm not saying that's what he's doing. I'm just saying, if you're going to ask me my age, and I'm not talking to you, King, and not at all, I'm just saying, be prepared for what you hear. Because, you know, I hate when people do that. That's why I don't like saying my age. I just let my actions speak for me and let them, you know, go with whatever they believe. But, no, nah, Pain, you're fine. I'm 26 years old. I mean, I look younger because my mom and my dad. But, yeah, I'm 26. Oh, scratching my arm kick right in front of everybody. Sorry. I mean, I'm not 27, but I will be next year. You, yeah, you was close. Yeah, so when I tell people, "Oh, you 26? You ain't 26? You da 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 da," and I'll be like, <laughs> "Whatever you want to believe. I don't have time for this." You say, "Can you play it cool?" Yeah, you can play. Come on. But yeah, talk to my mom and my dad why they made me look like this. He said, camera, I'll see you. I try to catch a stream when I can. Go oh, ahead, Slippy, get some bread. I'll see you when I can see you. Too. So I'm glad I did get to you. Oh, thank you, Otaku, for sharing the video. I didn't even know he snuck in here. I didn't even. Come on, y'all. I'm almost there. I gotta get these cannon legend wings so I can be done with this pass, y'all. We'll play a little bit, then I gotta keep grinding. He said, do gauntlet damage, then you're at tier 85. Let me see. He said, gauntlet. You're right, but I think it'd probably be faster if I do some cannons, but you're right. Maybe you're right. Gauntlet would be better. You're right, Ping. So after we do this free for all, we, I gotta do that 2v2 real quick. I can be done with this. You said, hey, Caramel, what color looks better? I'm looking. The black and the blue. Or the black and the gold. You know what? I ain't. Mm. I don't know. I don't like either of the colors. I ain't gonna lie. So, I guess if I had to choose, I'd probably choose the gold. The black and the gold. Okay, Jason. Is that Jason coming in? I'm setting the map to 2v2 because all y'all rowdy. I'm going be throwing hands. He said, watch costly video about seven to eight. Watch costly video about minutes. Seven to eight, funny. Oh. Well, what's going on up in there? I see you, Ninjara. AKA team. I see you. Oh, y'all gonna let me get my weapon. I'm not gonna do you like this. Oh, 
Dang, I forgot it's a free for all. I literally thought she was on my team. Oh man. I'm tripping right now. I'm gonna put my music back on. Okay, this one is oh wow. Okay. There's a new Okay, y'all coming for me today. I gotta get up, Lord. Ooh. Oh, it's more people. I think I'm. You said more than only going for you. Yeah. We, we need everybody to come for everybody. We need equality paws being spread out. Um, I think we'll be in there. Oh, that's how you gonna do it. You gonna get cozy. He said, let's do a Qatar fight. Qatar, okay. You know, I'm gonna get my boy Caspian. Oh, I see how it is. We're going to pick my man. Casting. Alright. 
Okay, I'll see y'all trying to get y'all squad together. Oh, ooh, hold on now. Attacking people. <laughs> you said they came out with a running a Fortnite time for them to get to. Oh man. Yeah, AV told me about it. They killing me with all these emos. I love me some emos for Fortnite, but they out here trying to make the money. But I don't really think that they need to for it, because that young girl made that uh made that dance move. But it would be nice if they paid her some um some money for it. I gotta see that renegade. It, it might look pretty cool. I won't lie. You said, it, you said it's the same as a renegade. I mean, I never even knew half of the time. That's how I know I'm old. What the renegade was. I literally thought it was like a medication or something. <laughs> and I was like, this is a whole dance. I said, like I said, I don't be following them trains. But. There'd be too much going on at this point. Kind of comfortable. Y'all ain't gonna be off. Oh, okay. You say he's only going for you? You talking about Jason? Mm. I'm about to go for him for doing what he just did. Cause I dropped. Okay, mm -hmm. everybody, everybody getting some some guitar action. Let's do it for fun 1v1. See, 1v1s are not fun to me because I can feel the compet the competition and I feel the anger. <laughs> It just won't be one of so competitive and it makes me just be like, man, it makes me nervous. 
I mean, that was just one game. You're going to get me in some games, too. When I get beat up. I'm not no professional player. Uh, competitive against him, he can get gold. He said whoever loses quits. Oh, why I gotta quit? He said not quit back out. Everybody gotta be, um, on one accord though because I don't know if a pretty lady aka Jason or Jesus has a turn I don't know if they're in the stream but they kind of just popped up in here he said you have way more damage than anybody had 900 damage I should be switching over to Fortnite because I said I was going to play some of that you said every time you play you get called a spammer I mean, do you spam, Frozen? <laughs> I'm just asking. If you spam, then I mean, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, nobody likes to get beat up. You said no Fortnite. You said you do spam. See what I'm talking about, Frozen? <laughs> I can't with you. Just own up to it. Just be like, hey, <laughs> this is what I do. He said, no Fortnite. I gotta grind. I don't. I don't pay for the battle pass, mustache. I gotta come with my coins, my V bucks. I need to see. I need to see what the hype is about. Uh, I can't imagine what they doing in the lobby, just busting out the renegade. Hey Jason, he said you have it. Is it? Is it worth it? Three, two, one, roll. everyone goes for you I'm coming coming at anybody coming to me though there see Jason coming for me right now cannon fight up in this team now Jesus coming for me P, what happened? I was like, I know we missing a player up in this team. Stop coming for P. P do to y'all. See, I fell. Oh, I barely made that. He said, I'm leaving, tell them not to. I didn't even know they was jumping on you. I'm still busy looking at, um, Jason. I got you, man. But like I said, I don't know if they in the stream. Ooh, 
Oh, that. Oh. Alright, Penny, it's up to you. I might play Fortnite a little bit. But then I might go to base. I gotta get up early. You say you wanna play Fortnite with me? Um, after this, I didn't expect to be on here for three freaking hours. That's I wanted to finish up leveling up my battle pass. That's what I wanna do and then go on Fortnite. So, that's what I'ma do. So that was my main mission being on here. I'm almost gonna get gauntlets. I could do some gauntlets. I'll have to play cat family. But then I might have to play core or four. I'll do like four. Whatever. Alright everybody, after this is doing some two v so I can get this over with. I mean make some got the damage. Slick try to come over here. <laughs> he try to come bring himself over here. Try to get a couple hits in. Because that's what they, that's what free fall does. I mean, somebody get targeted and it just becomes fair. That's why I don't like free fall because it's, it's everybody gets beat up. Let them find out you're really good at the game. Oh man, everybody come for you and try to get you out. That's why it's hard. Some good free fall sometimes. Yeah, if you too good, yeah, you're gonna get triple teamed on and everything. I don't know why you came for me. Okay, I'm not gonna just sit here all day. You say you gonna play me when I get on Fortnite? Nah, I can't stay on too late. So I gotta hurry up and get this damage. See, this is why I don't like triple all. Cause y'all be camping. I guess that's what I call it. Camping. Oh, teaming, teaming, camping, spamming, just free everything on the board.
Yeah, I don't like her phone. I'm a clown. Get him, boy. Get him, boy. So y'all gonna shot her, okay. <laughs> I cannot. This is the shenanigans we doing. Hey, I knew. <laughs> he says your friend trying to fight. If y'all gonna sit, sit there, I'm gonna leave the match. Alright. Y'all better come on and come together. Do something. Alright, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, I gotta do something. Oh. Let me go finish this part. Y'all so scared to die. Stop being scared to die. Just die. Just move on with our lives. Good Lord. I'm glad you did, but all that it was not necessary to just sit there. Oh, I need gauntlets. Right, right, right. Hold on. Whooping butt with these cameras. Gauntlet Okay, go on, watch our business. Next time, some music going on. Okay. There slowly but surely, I'm gonna try to throw as much gauntlet I can throw. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, we're gonna try to focus on one, and the other one comes behind us. Yeah, they're working good. Good job, you own it tomorrow. Hey, Assassin, you my plan for me tomorrow. Technically, Assassin, it is a new day, and I'm playing Fortnite after this. I'm just trying to complete this battle pass real quick. But I ain't gonna be on Fortnite all night. I'm gonna be tired if I do. Oh, so. It's like every time I'm trying to get one move and I'm not moving fast enough. Dang, I gotta. Move in minus 10 seconds. Mm -mm. Dang, I wish I had my weapon with me. Woo! I had to think that through, bruh. <laughs> I was like. Oh, that was... Oh, that's too much. You say you're gonna be for a long time. What, playing Fortnite? Assassin? We're almost there. Three, 
Three, two, one, brawl! Oh, be careful on this team. This team works together good. That's so exactly what they do with some dude. They don't play. Be careful. Yeah, they're not merciless on that move. Mess up. How they not gonna kill them, but then kill here? They be doing too much. I don't like that. They be on red and they don't be dying. I'm about to ha ha my man swing. It's not the fam I have a problem with. It's when you hit someone and they don't die even though they're in that zone so you know like that like i don't get that like how close do i need to be for you to recognize it's time for them to go to heaven i don't got all day now now nah, go down like that be they be doing so much now nah, we're almost there you don't even have to go try hard. You're doing good. It's just the game just be on that weird stuff. That's why I be having them hands. Man, you was kicking butt. Okay, I'm gonna focus on one of these people. So you wanna watch Batman forever? 
I came out of nowhere, assassin. Oh, they're gonna do me dirty like that. Put me on the bomb. You said I should move here. <laughs> I like the game. The Batman game is really fun. Matter of fact, I might have to play that game over because that was so cool. I didn't even know. Especially the combo system. I like the way you just beat people up. They're over here is constant lord. That's a lord. Oh, that was useless. That person got the hell out. That was like, I'm good. He be like that. I think one more, we good. Jesus is king. Yeah, one more. Fast with your I'm Batman. Okay, fine. <laughs> Three, two, one, roll. Yeah, it's okay. Alright, uh, we got a queen iron. That's gonna be trouble. I'm trouble. Yeah, I can see her. Watch out for Queen Knight, that's the main thing I'm concerned about. That's why that person's gonna get distant. I'm gonna... Just Snoop Dogg second. Another time of first time. I'm just playing my my Afro Soul Latino mix. You know, this music don't really get played a lot. And it gets me in the whole vibe. Oh, you don't disconnect it. Oh no. Can you reconnect? Cause this is not gonna be. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do this. And they only like that. And it comes for your your AI like that. I can just tell. And yeah, it's doing a lot right now. Then you came back at the worst time. Yeah, they go, ooh, the fan lord, help me lord. Ooh lord. Man, I hate dealing with stuff like this. Cause this never, ooh, it's a merch. Ooh, that ain't merch.
If they was on one side, that would be different. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Trying to focus on Queen, not at least. This all still got two. Okay. Come on, get Queen Eye out. Man, if I would have waited a little bit more. Oh, so she just, okay, so she can just cha cha slide and just pop me in the air. Okay. Just cha cha slide on me. Oh. Hey, oh, the spam. I can't get that up. Too much. <laughs> Woo! Jesus! I need a weapon, bruh. Chill, chill. Oh, I knew the shenanigans was going on that side. He's gonna spam this dude. One, two. I need a weapon or a sign. That's all it takes. That one little move. You say at least I don't blame you. No, I'm not gonna blame you. You disconnected because of lag. I was doing the best I could do with my position. I'm done. I don't care no more now. Thank you, Ping. I'm upset that the game did you dirty, but it was worth it in the end. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and go to um, do a little Fortnite and then take my behind to bed. Uh, thank you, everybody who's been chilling with your girl, a little bit of caramel. I appreciate it so much. Y'all start your weekend off good and all those great things. And I'll see you when I see you.